you do not inject calves or cattle in alleyways, they move around too much, resulting in poor vaccine administration, increased risk of injection site lesions and bruising, and of course, broken needles. Properly restrain cattle before administering vaccines. This means using a suitable chute, ideally with neck extenders. When giving multiple injections in the neck, space the injections at least a hand width apart so products don't interfere with each other. It is also a good idea to be consistent when administering vaccine. For example, modified live on the upper part of the neck, clustered your product further down. The injection site triangle is important to have in mind. Do not inject too high or else you'll hit the ligament or possibly the vertebrae in the neck. Too far forward, you might hit the jaw. Too far back, there is the shoulder. Too low, and you might encounter the jugular vein or the carotid artery. The best practice is to change vaccine needles at least every 10 to 15 head, or when bent or burred, to reduce the risk of injection site lesions and broken needles. As well, a sharper needle is less painful to the animal. When using 10-dose vaccine packaging, an ideal time to change needles is when refilling the syringe. This way, a clean needle can be introduced into the bottle. Thank you.